Capitec proudly sponsors this program. Rethink Credit. Realize dreams. Capitec. The wait is over. Welcome, South Africa, to another edition of Winner Home Live on XABC3. My name is Danilo Aquisto, and I'm so glad to have you back in studio with us this it's week. It's good to be back. We're nearing the end. Winners, I can smell the winners. Right, almost. I can smell I that can smell home being given away on national television. <laughs> it's exciting. Oh, well, look, what a series it's been so far. And in just two weeks' time, you could become the owner of a brand new, fully decorated, multi million rent penthouse as our grand prize mm -hmm. winner. Your choice of one of the three apartments as designed by dynamic de uh, design duos at the Potterfly Lifestyle Estate in Somerset West, developed by Baldwin Properties, just in time for Christmas. Indeed. So we're getting the festive spirit going here and win a ho ho ho. <laughs> and remember, you only have until this coming Sunday, the 2nd of December, to enter the competition. Go to privateproperty.co.za and vote for your favorite design duo. And if you enter before 7:45 p.m. tonight, you'll also fall in line to be part of this week's Capitech Open the Door giveaway, where you could win one of these amazing prizes brought to you by. Santa. Tonight on Capitec Open the Door, you could win a 5,000 Rand Durham paint voucher, a medium Kamado Yan all in one grill from Cozy Home worth 14,900 Rand, or a 5,000 Rand Valence voucher. Plus, mm. you'll have a chance to win some more prizes on Winner Home with Samsung. Tonight's prize is a Samsung soundbar with Bluetooth acoustic beam technology. Uh, it's got game mode plus voice and tone clarity as well. It's worth seven and a half thousand bucks. Mm. What a prize, man. And after that, if you're a Capita client and can answer a simple question correctly, you'll add 5,000 Rand instant cash to your winnings. And as for our design duos, after a long and stressful journey, trying to win the judges' favor is no easy task. They've just passed the halfway mark of their final challenge in the competition. And let's head back to part of their lifestyle estate to see how things are coming along in their lounge and balconies. Last day of the final challenge, yo, there's a lot going on. Just like, your regular day on site? <laughs> things are kind of manic in our apartment at the moment. There's the final, <laughs> final day. <laughs> there's just people everywhere, scaffolding, humans, painting. We don't even know what to do with ourselves right now, actually. Oh, this feels like deja vu. Every single time. Just before deadline. There's nothing there. It'll all get done, but Joe, it's looking quite messy. So basically, uh, this is going to be another like live bulkhead. Going through the process of designing the hammock structure for our lounge. We had a good plan going into it, but a lot had to be worked out along the way. We went to a rope specialist and this is what they gave us, so... Yeah, we're just busy fitting that to the frame. Some of the things we wouldn't know until we could actually put it into practice and, and, and see how it works, how tight it'll be, if it would take the weight of someone. Two so, people, nevertheless. Two people, yeah. And this whole thing had to be welded on site because it couldn't fit in any door width or height. As manic as everything is at the moment, seeing Heath and our workshop arrive, Clambering up those stairs, goodness, thank goodness there'll be an elevator in this building at some stage, because yeah. like, those stairs, man. Like, <laughs> so much hauling up and down those stairs, but oh, seeing that unit come up the stairs, honestly, our energy just shifted instantly, and having our workshop guys there, getting that art installation in. It definitely brought a different energy to our super stressy day. <laughs> It was so good to have all the laughter and everybody in there. Art was great. We decided to expand the whole concept of using slats with our nook wall. We wanted to create an illusion of space and also just separating the kitchen and the lounge since it's open plan. Are we going to hacksaw yet? No? Yes! You guys have hacksaw. We've still got so much to do. We've got furniture to get in place. We need a clean. Uh... You should have seen this man climb this whole structure for the first time. I was like, I'm not going to do it. 
I know I looked stupid up there, but I was like, I was not gonna let go of the, the thick steel sides. I was like, hanging on for dear life. Every bone in my body saying like, no, don't trust it. But I know it's safe, so. Eventually plucked up the courage and like rolled across the structure and just, just felt just the netting and that, and it was incredible. Just experience the space from another angle. It really is an amazing feeling and it's really, really high. I just need some cushions and I'll be disordered. You can watch my goal. Fantastic view from up here. We approached Anita to create a bespoke TV unit. What they do is create ultra lightweight fiber boards using 100% repubbable materials. They've got these massive CNC machines, which they can pretty much cut up any shape yeah. and print any design that you want. And they're creating for us this foldable TV unit that fits perfectly in our space. And seeing it being installed right now is just absolutely amazing. I mean, it's crazy how something so complicated can then again be so simple. We really love what we do and we'll do whatever it takes to get the job done. At the moment, the massive holdup is the lighting, so electricians, and they've got a massive like structure in the space. The joinery needs to go in, and then the skirting needs to finish. I hope we can finish that on time. Yeah. Well, I've been watching on Twitter, and it seems like the love is mutual for every single one of our design duos. And remember that you have only four days left, including today, to vote for your favorite design duo on privateproperty.co.za. Yes, your tweets don't count. And before the competition <laughs> is going to close, this Sunday at 12 midnight. Remember that you can vote once per day, so if you haven't yet, yet entered uh, today, you have four more chances to win your dream home worth more than three million rands. That's right. Now, the deadline is fast approaching for our design duo in their final challenge. Stay right there. The drama continues after these. Search for a home on any device, anytime, anywhere. Private property, a home for everyone. Welcome back to Deadline Day on the final challenge of Winner Home Season 5. This is part of Play Lifestyle Estate in Somerset West, developed by Baldwin Properties. Now, our design duos are scampering to complete their lounge and balcony spaces. Let's see how they're coming along. Holy moly! I love this man's timing. Your perfect time? How's it? How's it? How's it, bro? It's always tense, like, at the end of the challenge, but Danilo finds, like, the most tense moment to come through. Uh, you know that this is like somebody's house, not a soccer field. <laughs> what is this? You're going for uh, a golf driving range. Right. So I may or may not have a surprise for you. Oi. You know, like, furniture always makes a lounge? What happens if I gave you two and a half thousand rand from Valence? Would that be nice? Always helps. What about 5,000? <laughs> Even better. That'd be better. And if I said I had 10 grand for you? Can I go further? Can I go further? No. no. <laughs> I've got 10 we'll grand take, for Valence for you. Take 10, that's fantastic. Take it. Good luck. Thank you so much. How are you feeling? I mean, it's exciting because, I mean, we almost finished uh -huh. and it's all coming together. Right now, not a lot is happening, but it will get done. Okay. Do you like surprises? Yes and no. Okay. So what if I told you that I had a little bit of extra budget, like 10 grand from Valence to furnish your lounge? Ooh. Would you be excited? Yes, of course, definitely. What is this? <laughs> Exciting. Kill it. Love you, love you. I'll see you at deadline. <laughs> Oh, it's actually going to be really cool when this is all over and seeing Dan doesn't equal, like, stressy vibes. <laughs> so your collaboration will be up on the wall. That'll be done and dusted. I see the paint's all done and your bespoke items are finished. It's just the furniture's the next step, I guess, for the lounge. Mm -hmm. What happens if I had some money from Valence? No. Mm -hmm. Really? How, yes, how would two grand feel? Fine? Yeah. Five? Well, maybe. Seven and a half? Nah. 
10? Yes! Okay. 10 will be great. <laughs> Just 10 grand from Valence for you guys. With things being as stressful as what they are and time running out and running out quick, it's always amazing getting a hug from Dan. Keeps us going. His cuddles are the best. <laughs> It's the last deadline. I mean, we're putting in everything we've got. We just have to push ourselves. Like, now or never. It's the last time anyway. Time is running out for our design duos in the final challenge on Win a Home. I surely hope they're dipping into their last ounces of resources and energy, because this is what counts. Contestants, you have one hour. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, we heard you, Dan. That last hour is always so intense. Yo. Time is almost up. We have to put the furniture in here, style this place. Oh my. We're a team. We work yeah. together. <laughs> when she falls short, I, I'm there to pick up. When I fall short, she's there to pick up. You know, guys, that's how teamwork works. <laughs> and this is why we team R and K. <laughs> I need to catch my breath first. Life is a lot. I'm living here at Gain Muscle, being a designer. Getting all the furniture in, exciting time. Unboxing, like Christmas, <laughs> every time. This is like amazing. We're super excited. Oh, bam. Ooh, we're setting up our sound bar right now. Samsung sound bar. So few wires bar. Yo, it's, it's such a small thing with so much power, like that dynamite comes in small packages. Thing. So neat. It literally lights up the whole space. Yeah. Like throughout, you can hear the thing. So it's it's amazing. And uh, we just want to kind of set the mood for set the judges. Set the mood up for the judges as a sonic utensil. Woo! You know what I mean? Set the mood up! Set the mood. <laughs> Maybe. But they're very comfortable though. I don't, they don't look like it. Look at that. I don't think steel is comfortable. They're very comfortable. It is steel. No, they're very comfortable. He's petting. Okay, but they, okay, they're fine. They're very comfortable. Okay, fine, we'll put them up. <laughs> the balcony is one of my favorite parts of this home. I mean, there I was on a ladder, putting up those creepers. Both of us had to do some landscaping, which we've never done before. Chop, chop, there's no time to be a girl. We really wanted to play with as many earthy undertones as possible. So stone is good, grass is good, and because it's... It's upstairs, you won't really get soil, but we have a plan. We're gonna bring some brown in. We are not afraid to get in there, down and dirty style, to get the job done. We love what we do, and... It's amazing that these still look like this. <laughs> Life on site is incredibly stressful, and the moments up until deadline can really be a test of character. But a challenge is a challenge, and deadline is deadline. So for the last time on Winner Home Season 5... <coughs> could I have a croissant, please? Woo! It's over. I guess the show is over, folks. Show's over. And it's done. Just like that. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> that's that's quite something to try and process that, that was that that's it. We're done done. Shall we go have a drink? I think so. <laughs> I think so too. With their tools down and their heads held high, our design viewers have completed their final challenge on Winner Home. It's time to see the beautiful spaces they've created. Team RNK, you're up first. In all honesty, what we have managed to achieve here in two words is ultimate sophistication. Of course, without forgetting practicality and function. <sighs> Five-star experience. <laughs> this is so cool. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me about how it's all come together for you guys. This black dark theme has brought a nice mood into here. You brought some lighter elements, I see as well. Not even a plant. Mm. Darling. Budgets are good. <laughs> <laughs> yes, honey. Really it is good. Winning does that. Extra yeah. cash to spend. Yes. 
Yeah. Tell me about the actual space itself. Well, the one thing we were very clear about from the beginning is that we don't want an L-shaped couch. It's just so overdone. And as you can see, we broke it nicely, I think, yeah. with, of course, a valence gray couch, which is neutral. And, of course, just put some lovely little, I don't know what color that is. It's got a mint green. Like a, I mean, it's just, a good option. I like just, that. It's just spicy, but it's also not too harsh a color. I mean, we just love the space. We don't even, I don't even know which are the key elements, really. Everything here makes us happy. Yeah. So for you, what would be your design elements that the judge is going to walk in here and be like, this was clever, creative design? We'll start off with the layout. The layout is functional. Okay. It's beautiful and it works. Okay. And then we have our coffee table over here, which is a three-piece modular table. They all separate and you can use them as side tables and then together they also form like a beautiful, big coffee table. Okay, yeah. so I see that's quite clever. Where in this lounge have you added value to your home? Well, the area there next to the bathroom, uh, we've decided to create a study uh, because this person right here loves to work and they want a little space that's just for that. And we've added um, storage options because, because it's compact, but still they need to have plenty, plenty of storage. In the second look, we've done the same thing. We've added storage and an art piece because as we had mentioned over and over before, she is a collector of arts and she celebrates fine arts. The reason why our lounge was so luscious is because we made space because we have a dining area in the kitchen and also outdoor. So that all, in essence, created space. space. It seems to come together quite nice with those natural elements that are in here. You've gone with that sort of African aesthetic as well too, I see. It's been inspired yeah. by a lot of African colours, which I really, really enjoy. Good luck. The judges are soon going to arrive. I'll call you when they're ready. Thank you yeah, so thank much. Thank you so much. All right. Can, can I go now? Danilo. Off the couch? Bye-bye. Uh, it's too comfortable. Can you guys go, actually? Bye-bye. Uh, right, thanks. <laughs> Just leave you there. <laughs> <laughs> this is lovely. Hope you guys love it as much as I love it. Give them a gift and go and tweet them right now using the hashtag WinnerHome. Let us know what you thought of RNK's uh, different beautiful, beautiful lounge and balcony spaces. Now we've passed at 7.45 p.m. mark, which means that your chance to be part of this week's Capitech Open the Door giveaway is officially over. But you can still enter the grand prize competition on privateproperty.co.za and be part of next week's draw. The entry is officially closed this coming Sunday at 12 midnight, which means you, uh, that you only have four more days left to, and to stand a chance of winning your dream home worth more than 3 million rand. So get entering right now and don't waste this once in a lifetime opportunity. Now we've seen what Team RNK brought to the party for their final spaces and after the break we take a look at the designs from Contrast Control as well as the Perma Peeps. Get credit for the right reasons. Up to 250,000 Rand based on your need. Capitec. Welcome back to Winner Home, hosted at the Part of Play Lifestyle Estate in Somerset West, developed by Baldwin Properties. The final challenge is complete, and we've seen what sophisticated design Team RK brought to the competition. Let's catch up with the Perma Peeps. Perma Peeps. Hey, Dan. How are you guys doing? We're kidding me. We're good, we're good. Must be Welcome. tired, last challenge done and dusted. Yes, yes we God, are. This place is so nice and open. I feel like I dressed appropriately. You did, yes, you're you did. looking the part, all, all right. relaxed and Looking flowy. Perma Peepy? Yes. yes. So, how are you guys feeling? Good, we absolutely love our space. Yeah, I don't know how we're going to leave it. Yeah, I'm <laughs> sure you're hiding yourself in the cupboard somewhere and hope that the new owner doesn't find you. Right, so let's talk about the various elements in here that you guys are in love with the most. Well, our art piece is absolutely everything from Heath Nash in collaboration with our workshop. You must see the way it looks at night. Danilo, like the lighting, it's just beautiful. And then we have our outside braai area, which is, I mean, come now, do you get anything more South African than outdoor cooking? Your client, obviously, has always been kept in mind. And, you know, what is it about this space that's going to appeal to them? Well, I think we've obviously also, we've stuck to our greenery. We are the permanent. Peeps, but also we've brought in the very subtle African feel as per what our client needs and wants. So that's shining through very well in the use of natural stone mm. and the use of textures and you know different different types, different types of timber, types of timber feels. feels and, and yeah. What about colour? I see on this side of the wall you've chosen some muted bits of colour there. Our colours are very muted obviously but it's to also bring in the feel of greenery so we've got that large green muted wall mm. and then the pink obviously also plays in with our pink velvet from the master bedroom bringing that through and as you can see we've also got it on the couch. The judges will walk in here and spot some of these massive highlight elements that you've brought in but they're also wanting to push your design boundaries with some critique. What do you think they'll critique? 
Hmm, we, we were debating rugs at a stage because the one rug we, we brought out was actually too big for the space and then with the hectic deadline we never actually got time to go and swap it out for another one. So it's still beautiful and open and airy and you can see Oggies, I mean their flooring is just incredible so it's quite nice not covering it up actually. <laughs> what about the other elements? Over there we've put in a lot of storage, obviously tall, sticking with our normal minimalist yeah, feels. Yeah. So we have broom cupboard space and obviously a little bit more storage and that kind of stuff, but there is a fold out ironing board. What? You guys fold, fold out, out things? Laundry. Come and pull out laundry, you know how we are. Does it so work? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Do you want to check it out? Yes, come <laughs> show me how it looks. Check this out. We have our little laundry basket. That's so cool. And our fold out ironing board. No way! Ooh, it's oh. our absolute favourite. <laughs> Love it! Good stuff, guys. That's really, really exciting. You guys have done a great job and congrats on the final challenge. Thank you. We're very excited. <laughs> Good luck, Pepper Peeps. <laughs> guys, this is like a millennial's haven. Would yeah? you live here? Would you live here? Totes! What I've appreciated throughout the whole competition is walking into your spaces and seeing how much you guys push those boundaries of design. Nothing in here feels like it was on a Pinterest board. It all just seems so unique and out of the box. When we first came into the space, we already had like a clear vision of what we wanted this to be. So being able to walk through the space unhindered mm. and having a clear walkway, which we've created, kind of like compacted um, most of the designs to the left. Yeah, so that was a big element for SA Homeowner. They really loved that. And it's young and it's expressive and that it's, it's still a sophisticated space. It's still got Bespokeness. Bespokeness. Yes, and I get you. So with the whole hammock structure, we kind of allowed a space with the whole joinery unit at the end there. Mm. So we thought of adding steps over there on that end so that you can actually access it and you're not hindering the flow of the space. Yeah. And the positioning of it is perfect because you get the whole view of the mm. golf course outside there and like it kind of highlights the whole exterior interior yeah. feel. Yo, the balcony, we went for a Moroccan feel, yeah. which is low seating and multifunctional. Yeah. And so you can move it around, shuffle it around. Adjust to the function that you're yeah. having. And... and when it comes to ideas, you guys are Moroccanist. <laughs> <laughs> we got that. And your, your nooks, tell me about that space there. Our first nook, which is outside the guest bathroom, we've allocated that for like your broom storage, your vacuum. Linen and that oh, sort of thing. Linen and, and that. Then the second nook, which is outside the master bedroom, we've allocated that as a drinks kind of cabinet area. Mm -hmm. So Perfect for a little lounge. nightcap. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and we brought in an artwork photographed by Kehmile as well in that, nice in that drinks nook. Yours truly. <laughs> and the one thing you failed to mention was this huge piece in the wall on the side. Was this one of your other collaborations? That's just, yeah, <laughs> that's, that's just us. It's sexy. Kind of cool. And like it became it. like a contemporary clock which doesn't move. Doesn't move, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Stuck but what is time? Yeah. Stuck in time. <laughs> yeah. 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 Now can I go up upstairs? Please, Please bring me a book. I'll throw you one. <laughs> this is so cool. <laughs> Ah, this is so cool. You guys can get out of here now. Bye. Thank you. This is awesome. But for two, things are heating up. It's getting harder and harder. What do you think of it all? Let the doers know what you think of their designs and keep up to date with them on social media. Follow Nick and Kehumile from Team Contrast Control at Nick Nick Smith at Kehumile Mate and then Sinead and Melissa from Perma Peeps at Sinead Turner 9 and Melissa underscore Ust. And Team RNK can be found online at Rikopile B and at Koketso Marole. Be sure to follow these rising stars and see what they get up to. We'll see you after these. Control every aspect of your home from your phone. Create a multi-device experience when you connect your phone to your TV and manage your appliances from it. Live a seamlessly connected life with the Samsung SmartThings app. Welcome back to Winner Home, right here, live and direct on SABC3. Now, it is a bittersweet moment for our design doers who've just completed their final challenge in the competition. Their spaces are looking incredible. And now there's only one thing left. It's time for the judging.
Design duos, all's well that ends well. Congratulations on completing your final challenge on Winner Home. I must say, walking to each of your apartments, I became so proud of the work that you created. Your apartments look incredible. However, it's not my opinion that matters, it's the judges, and they have arrived. The judges are here. <laughs> they are Slade Brooks, Property Executive, Bourbon Properties. Brian Courtney, Private Property. Bushle Matole from Kabu Design Architects. And your guest judge and mentor for this challenge, Kyle Rue. It's been quite stressful throughout this whole competition, but we're feeling a bit, a bit sad that it's the last time we get to like stress and cry and scream on site. <laughs> Please let us win. <laughs> Please. We take one. Give us another one. <laughs> the idea with this lounge space was always a relationship with the kitchen space and all these living areas working together. Mm -hmm. I really well. feel we've we've properly achieved that, and that's a big reward in itself. All right, Brian. Clear. I need a moment to take all of this in. <laughs> There's a lot going on in this room. Team Contrast Control does amazing work. I think their ideas were incredible. That space was jam-packed. I love that they've got bespoke pieces of furniture. Every chair around that dining room table is interesting and unique. I really admire the creativity that uh, the guys show in their choice of pieces, their use of colour, and obviously their structural design is always very strong. It's very interesting and I think they're very creative people, um, but I'm not sure if it will appeal to everyone necessarily. Yeah. Team Contrast Control, exciting always. I think they're born designers, um, they're artists, you can't argue that. Yeah, I agree with you 100%. The creativity is definitely there. Team Contrast Control, I climbed up your ladder. That scared me. I wasn't sure if I was going to get up there, I wasn't sure if I was going to find myself lying down on the floor at the end of the scene. This was a bit of an experience. I got to the top, everything was sturdy, everything was stable, I was happy. It was a fantastic idea to try and use the volume of the space effectively and try and make use of that extra bit of space above there. I looked over to my left and I saw the most magnificent view. Uh, there's mountains, golf course, tree line. Um, I'm starting to understand why they made themselves a little perch on the top of their apartments. Stepping outside, I actually really enjoyed just the tranquility of it. It was very peaceful, there was enough seating to have a few friends around and it didn't distract from the beautiful view. I'm worried about the space they've used though. You know, you're missing quite a lot of the, the room itself. Uh, you know, painting a passageway, great conceptually, but you need to use all the space you have. Yeah. It does, it sort of congests everything down to one portion of the apartment. Yeah. yeah. Definitely could have made a more open lounge area and utilized the entire room from front to back. Is that a clock? <laughs> and what is the time? <laughs> <laughs> what is the time? <laughs> it's happy hour somewhere. Yeah, happy hour somewhere. <laughs> Sounds good. Let's go check it out. <laughs> we hope the judges appreciate the fact that we played with every space in this apartment, which was left for last. Yeah, there was a lot of thought process, and I just think I love the flow from the kitchen to the lounge. Beautiful. Very impressed with everything. As you walk through, you see this beautiful wooden slats, and behind it, the greenery, the whole open room. I mean, the place was well executed. They had the volume in the unit, they had the colors, they had all the contrast as well. I really like the fact that in the mental session, we discussed using the expansion joints to a graphic effect, and they obviously brought the gold across from their light fittings and uh, punctuated the art onto this broad stripe down the room. I think that's a great way of bringing your eye up into the double volume space as well. You have your bespoke coffee table over here. It's not just functional, you know, it looks great. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty much a piece of sculpture. Yeah. What did you guys think of the, the TV units? For me personally, I think the TV unit is maybe a little bit heavy for the room. I understand where they were trying to go with it in terms of a concept, but I think it kind of overpowers. Although it is really great not to see any wires over there. I didn't like the whole tombstone look of the TV cabinets, but if I walk past the TV unit and go through to the outside balcony area, it's a lovely open space with an incredible view. I didn't quite understand why they would put the wooden decking in the L shape, because it divided this already small balcony into a smaller segment with the, the fake grass, which was beautiful, but it only seats two people. And if you want to have friends around and enjoy the view, I think it's a bit limiting. Something I noticed as I was coming in was this lattice work. It's beautiful and very clever the way they've continued it right across to the edge of the bathroom wall and the little re reading nook is cool. I think um, 
It definitely mirrors the kitchen, which is a really clever feature. There seems to be a great sense of continuity um, from the kitchen going through into the living space. I loved how they used space. Even the enclaves, the little niches, they looked at the textures on the walls. So every single space was thought through. So other than the kitchen counter, the one thing maybe lacking here a little is the dining space. For this small space, I think they brought that outside. It's a beautiful dining area, you can relax with the views. So I think they've really made a good choice by not putting in the dining area. The balcony table, although they have put it there, could have been a little bit more formal. It would have compensated for not having um, the dining room space inside the house. We are so excited for the judges to see our collaborative art piece from our workshop. And just the general actual flow of the space, how it just feels like all one space and just entertaining is going to be awesome in that space for whoever gets oh it. <laughs> I remember you loved the dining room table when we looked at the kitchen. Yeah, dude, you got to eat somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> you eat somewhere. Priorities, priorities. The girls from Perma Peeps have definitely had a strong design identity from the beginning to the end and you can obviously see the flow of their finishes and their ideas consistently through the whole apartment. I love how now when we translate the dining, kitchen, lounge area, the whole space works, it flows. I really think if they had a rug under the table in the lounge it would have added a bit of a cosier space, made it a bit warmer. But what is very nice is the under the coffee table they've added those pot plants, same as they did in the dining room table which was very clever. I'm absolutely mad for their collaboration. I mean, the recycled plastic works that they've done with the team in Lunga, I just think has an amazing effect in the room. I do feel, however, it would have been quite nice for it to have traveled a little bit more up into the height of the space, rather than being all at one level with the kitchen. I agree with you on that, but I think what they've done is on the opposite wall, they've used all of the space. So you've got different colors in there, there's different pieces that are popping out of the wall. It creates a good volume for this room. What the Puma Peeps did really well was creating a feature wall behind the TV, extending that colour from floor to ceiling, creating those lintels with the hanging plants. It just created a bit of interest on an otherwise very large flat surface. And what I really love is what they've done in their balcony with that beautiful bright area with enough storage, their wine rack. So I think they've created a good balance. Perma peeps, when it comes to reselling your apartment, I'm pretty sure I'll take the first buyer, walk him outside and show me as a bra. And I've got an easy sale on my way. Great idea to obviously have the bra and to be able to use the space. However, I feel having focused on that, they might have let themselves down a little in the actual comfort of the seating, which really didn't look like it was too comfortable to sit on. So that right? We all have a bra. Absolutely. Exactly. <laughs> Again. Great view as well. Sheesh, it yeah. is amazing. With all that out the way, our design viewers can take a deep breath and breathe a sigh of relief. And for Team RNK, some much needed downtime means experiencing the natural beauty that Somerset West has to offer. Last challenge is out of the way. The girls had to do what I define as heaven. Fast <laughs> riding. Gears on! Mm. Ready? Let's do it. Let's do this. <laughs> Journey's End is a recreational yard, meaning we're non-competitive. We are purely here to learn and gain life skills from being with the horses. Oh, wait, wait, where are you going? Ah, this is gonna hit me in the bum. <laughs> I'm about to get on this horse right now, and I'm gonna say I'm a little terrified. <laughs> These things are huge. <laughs> to be honest, I mean the size of silver is intimidating. Um, even for someone who's not a first-time rider. I mean, look at this. this is, um, she called him a gentle giant. What we do here is we teach people basically how to ride, how to be around horses, and not only that, but life skills. To squeeze on the sides of a horse and tap. Yeah, try not to pull on the, at the same time. Great, you got it. Oh my That's goodness. Great. <laughs> you got it. Trust the record to drag me into a crazy idea. My word. <laughs> But anyway, I'm going to take the chilled horse because she can have the crazy one. Mm -mm. Her crazy ideas. Mm -mm. Well done, Silver. I'm proud of you. Yeah, no, Rusty is a real gentleman. Oh, he is taking it easy. I mean, it's really nice that you can have both city and a bit of country. It's really amazing. Like, this is in the middle of Somerset West, guys. Being away from sight and actually just getting to be in touch with nature in this way with the horses and the view. <gasps> I'm just in awe. Come on. Oh, this is Come so on. cool. Horse Let's do this day. every day. Corky's first day today on the horse. 
She really surprised me. She was awesome, very chill, making jokes on top of the horse, like nothing phased her. This is a real slice of heaven. It was awesome, really, really good. Oh my girl, my legs are killing me. What happened? I mean, I couldn't even move, like stiff. Really? I feel like I've got a like, mad thighs now. <laughs> I'm joking. And because we love a good pun on this show, I'm not, I'm not sure whether to say hey, hey now or ho, ho now. Mm. Let me know your thoughts on Twitter. Would you love to see the apartments with your own eyes? Come to Part of a Lifestyle Estate in Somerset West this Saturday, the 1st of December, between 2 p.m. and 6 p.m. and meet the winner home design duos and see their completed units exactly for yourself. Plus, the good news is that I'll be there as well, and each visitor will receive a complimentary slice of freshly baked pizza from the Amici restaurant on the state, and I demand a bite. So make sure that you bring the family down to part of a lifestyle estate for this special open house show day and witness the exquisite design by our duos with your very own eyes. This is a once-off experience, so please do not miss it. I'm looking forward to meeting you. Coming up, we announce the winner of the final challenge on Winner Home Season 5. The question is... Are you ready? Don't take credit. Unexpected coming from a bank. But just think about it. Using credit to finance a flashy lifestyle to show that you've arrived won't help you live better. What's new today is old tomorrow, except for the debt that you still have to pay. But do take credit to renovate your home, buy a more reliable car, or pay for your children's education. If that's your goal, then Capitec will help you realize your dreams. Because living better starts when you get credit for the right reasons. Get credit for the right reasons. Up to 250,000 Rand based on your need. Capitec. Welcome back. You are still tuned in to Winner Home right here on SABC3. Now, my favorite time of the show is fast approaching. It's time for the Capitec Open the Door giveaway, where we draw one lucky name from the past week's entries, and that lucky contestant will get to choose one of the three doors behind me and win whatever is behind it. Here's what's hidden behind the doors this week. Tonight on Capitec Open the Door, you could win a 5,000 Rand Durham paint voucher a medium Kamado Yan all-in-one grill from Cozy Home worth 14,900 Rand. Or a 5,000 Rand Valence voucher. Ah, such exciting prizes. But as you know, we always need the aid of magic hands to help us open the doors. And here to open the door for us tonight, we have Ishmael Sussman, Recovery System Administrator from Capitec. Ishmael, welcome and thanks for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. It's Good. great to be here. Yeah, no, so what exactly do you love about your job at Capitec? I absolutely love working hard and playing hard. And most of all, Making dreams come true. Making dreams come true and helping people live better. I love that. Well, we have our lucky caller on the line, Byron van Heerden from Somerset West. Good evening. Good evening. Ah, you good made evening. it through. How's it going? I'm good yourself. Ah, I'm fair. great. I'm happy to be online. Ah, that is absolutely fantastic. You must drive through the uh, lifestyle estate quite often and you must love it, eh? No problem, I love, I love it. Okay, well you've had the different prizes that are hidden behind our doors tonight. Now which door would you like us to open for you tonight? Red, white or blue? Uh, I'll go with white. Ooh, Ishmael, white. what's behind the white door tonight? That's... <laughs> Woo! Okay, congratulations! Uh, you have won yourself a 5,000 Rand Valence voucher! Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Ishmael. Wow, that is fantastic. Thanks, Byron, are you excited? I'm excited, yes. No, I love that, man. Thanks, man. That is great. Okay, well, you also get uh, yourself... Yeah, you get yourself a Kamado Yan all-in-one grill from Cozy Home worth 14900 That is an exciting prize. Congratulations. Thank you very much, man. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Uh, Ishmael for joining us tonight. Well, thank that you very much. That's fantastic, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, clearly we're excited on Winner Home tonight. It's also time for you to win a second time. Are you ready to be another winner with us on Winner Home? No problem, I am, yes. Do you like Samsung products? 
fun products, bring it on. Good stuff. Now listen very carefully because I have a question for you at the end of all this information, right? Uh, the question, well, the comments that I want to share that you need to listen closely to is that the Samsung soundbar, right? It's got some really yeah. amazing features. It's got voice and tone clarity. It delivers crystal clear and detailed dialogue with a built-in center speaker. It has, uh, well, it has features like the acoustic beam technology that mixes and delivers the sound so it appears to be coming precisely from where the action is happening on screen. And for gaming, it's auto settings optimize your sound to the game you are playing. So now to win this amazing prize, answer this simple question for me. Which feature used in the Samsung soundbar with Bluetooth creates panoramic sound that moves in sync with the images that are on TV? Is it A, acoustic beam technology, or B, TV sound connect? A or B? Is it A or B? B. You're going to say it's B, right? That option for B was Sound Connect. The option for A was Acoustic Beam Technology. And are you sure it's B? Are you sure it's B? B. Okay. You are incorrect, unfortunately. The answer yeah. was A. Clearly also too excited to win the prizes today, but don't worry, there's still one more chance for you to win. Byron, I am excited for you still. You are still in the running, and I'm so excited. I even almost gave you the wrong prize. Congratulations on that Kamado Yeah, Now, you still have another chance to win big, and the question is pretty simple. If you are a Capitec client, uh, you and you get it right, you will win. Are you a Capitec client? I'm not a Capitec client. Oh, Byron, my friend. Well, I'm sorry about that, but listen, congratulations on what you have won tonight, okay? Thanks, man. Fantastic. Well, listen, if you were a capital client, Byron, you would have won yourself a 5,000 rand in your bank account. But that means that it rolls over to next week. You can enter to privateproperty.co.za and stand in line to be called live on air for the Capitec uh, Open the Door giveaway next week. It is pretty simple. This is your chance to win the home you've always dreamed of. Enter the Winner Home competition by voting for your favorite design duo on privateproperty.co.za and stand a chance of winning a fully decorated apartment at Pardaflay Lifestyle Estate, developed by Baldwin Properties worth over 3 million rand. Plus, you'll automatically be entered into the weekly draw where this coming Thursday night, you could walk away with the new Samsung Galaxy Watch with phone capability via Bluetooth, fitness tracking and interchangeable strap. And if that's not enough, Capitec clients stand a chance to win a further 5,000 Rand in cash. Competition details plus T's and C's can be found on the private property website. Win a home every Thursday evening at 7.30 on SABC3. The stage is yours. The final challenge is always the toughest, duos. But each of you can be incredibly proud of the amount of work you put into your spaces. We could see your hearts and souls were poured into this challenge. Let's begin with our judges' feedback. I'll start with you, Team Contrast Control. You always push the boundaries of design, and the judges really appreciated that in your living space. Your net hammock really took the judges by surprise. However, the open space you created from your entrance through to your balcony made it feel like you cramped everything slightly to the one side of the room. We're super happy though that the judges were a bit surprised about our little things, our little tricks up the sleeves. Tricks up the sleeves. And the other comment about the lounge being a bit too compressed, we rather look at it as being compact because we wanted a free flow of space into the outside. So, so the person uh, walking outside never has to yeah. worry about walking across the TV and that sort of thing. person at the TV is cosy and comfy on their own. Everyone else can carry on as usual. Team RNK. The judges commended you on creating a practical living space with ample seating and the fact that you created that study next to the kitchen. They love the wooden slat feature that leads into the lounge and the fact that you used colour on your wall to hide the lines. However, your dark TV cabinet, although practical for hiding wires, the colour may have imposed slightly on the space. I missed all the criticism. All I heard was yum, 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 yum. It was so good and I mean their criticism is kind of fair, maybe it's overpowering because of the colour, but if we also went too pastel and too light, then maybe you would have missed it. The perma peeps. 
The judges loved that you brought dimension and texture to your TV wall, and that you brought the volume all the way up to the ceiling, bringing interest to the space. They also loved your braai area. However, they did feel that the L-shaped couch on your balcony forced your guests to face inwards, as opposed to the beautiful view outside. And they felt you could have brought some warmth to the space by including a rug under your coffee table. With our outdoor seating, um, mm. we're a smidge disappointed with the feedback on that. The view is always there, so you don't have to be facing it and staring at it all the time to appreciate it. And the seating orientation actually lends itself to better space utilization mm. in the whole living area and outdoor area together, I think, we yeah. think. With that said, I must remind you that although the competition is tied, the winner of the final challenge on Winner Home does not determine the winner of the competition. The judges will first need to visit your apartments and judge them in their entirety. However, there can only be one winner for the living area and balcony challenge. And the winning duo is... Team R and K! Team R and K, woo! Team R and K, woo! Congratulations, ladies. And as winners of this challenge, we'll be allocating an extra 5,000 Rand to your budget so you can tie up all the loose ends in your apartment and get it ready for the judge's final visit. Ah, oh, this budget, oh, it's gonna come in real handy. Yeah. I mean, next week the judges come in and this place needs to be spick and span, clean, perfect, mm -hmm. to the T. Yeah. So we're gonna use all of it. We are pretty disappointed and bleak about this decision, but... Would have been cool to have more than one individual challenge win. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I feel like we can definitely do some cool things and just fix a couple of small tweaks in our snags time. And we are going to actually hold our heads high and really hope that the judges enjoy the space as a whole. We're very stoked with what we've achieved here yeah. and I think when the judges come back for their final judgment and actually get to spend some time in the apartment, experience it, living in the space, all our little details that we've paid attention to along the way will really pay off. All I can see was Team RK, woo! Team RK. What a victory woo. dance that. Oh, Jeez, that was <laughs> real excitement on Winner Home. Almost as much excitement as giving away the open, the Capitec opened the door. Yes, that was Sheesh. very, very exciting. Byron, yeah. my man, I hope you like your Kamado Yan. It is a spectacular gift. Indeed, I'm looking forward to seeing all of you guys uh, this weekend, this Saturday, the, uh, oh, well, this coming Saturday. Mm -hmm. I'll be there from 2 until 6 p.m. You can come to the Part of a Lifestyle Estate. It's their open house show day. There's going to be pizza slices for those who want to come. Come and meet the design duo. See the spaces for your very own own self. It's going to be awesome. Mm. Also, you have uh, three days left till competition closes midnight the 2nd of December, okay? Indeed. So we have to go right now. Good night. We'll see you again next week. Cheers, guys. Mwah. Next week on Win at Home, having completed all their challenges, the design duos have the opportunity to implement the final tweaks to their spaces. Ladies, what can I say? This place looks amazing. May I please move in? Then, it's all up to the judges who spend a night in each apartment to experience them in their entirety. Catch all the action on Winner Home Thursdays at 7.30pm on SABC3 with a repeat on Saturdays at 3pm. The stage is yours. Another feel-good production.